Hi and welcome to Wednesday, October 29th, 2008. It's David here with you all once again with my somewhat at times unorthodox view on life and all that comes with being dissatisfied with oneself and basically life in general. I'm not a happy camper really, am I? Well, let's see if we can raise the happiness bar just that little bit and make life a wee bit more enjoyable for my many, 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 many fans out there who are looking for some inspiration from the guru, also known as Super Dave. So, on tonight's show, great moments in Australian TV. You know what I mean. When you watch them, it takes you back to a happier, simpler time when all was or seemed good in the world. So, throughout this Max Rowley Media Academy TV lesson, we will take a trip down Australian TV memory lane together as I play you snippets from those unforgettable moments on the small screen here in the land of Oz. Later on in the show, Vanessa Till, a fellow student here at MRMA, will view some of these great moments in Oz TV and share her thoughts with us on that particular clip and the memories that that clip brings back for her. Now before we proceed any further, I do have some sad news for all of my viewers who are looking forward to my series of presentations on great Australian TV shows that have been successfully butchered. <coughs> oh, oh dear, excuse me, sorry. That have been successfully modified for the US TV market. In particular, Kath and Kim, which was penciled in to be first up in the series. Unfortunately, Channel 7, for some unknown reason, pulled the plug on the highly acclaimed US adaptation after only a very brief airing on Australian TV. So I appeal to my many, 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 many viewers out there. If you do have copies of Kath and Kim US style that ran on Channel 7 for around oh, two to three minutes before Channel 7 came to their senses and ran ads to fill in the half hour, then please forward the footage on to me, care of the Max Rowley Media Academy, here in Redfern. Well, now for some great moments in Australian TV. Sit back and enjoy this one, viewers, and pay close attention to the timing, the quick-witted off-the-cuff one-liners, and most of all, the chemistry between the presenters. Guys, now we've got this amphibious thing absolutely sorted, what are you doing on Boxing Day? Going to the cricket. Don't, don't even think about it, Charlie. This thing would never make it across Bass Strait. What makes you think we'd get to Bass Strait? <laughs> oh, yeah, great stuff indeed. All the ingredients for a successful show. Natural unscripted humour. Brilliant timing. And the chemistry between the hosts. Wow. Those three tryhards on the UK version of Top Gear could do with a few tips from our Top Gear mates down under. Guys, now we've got this amphibious thing absolutely sorted. What are you doing on Boxing Day? Going to the cricket. Don't, don't even think about it, Charlie. This thing would never make it across Bass Strait. What makes you think we'd get to Bass Strait? <laughs> oh, yeah, great stuff indeed. All the ingredients for a successful show. Natural unscripted humour, brilliant timing, and the chemistry between the hosts. Wow! Those three tryhards on the UK version of Top Gear could do with a few tips from our Top Gear mates down under. Oops, sorry. I've just been smacked in the face with a severe case of deja vu. Did I just repeat myself? You see, I was up late last night preparing for tonight's lesson and... As part of my research, I read the Top Gear Australia instruction manual on presenting a successful TV show. Now, the basic message throughout the manual is to present a slightly different version of the same thing over and over and over again, hoping no one will notice. And most importantly, make it seem all so natural and unscripted. I need to check the index of the manual, though, to find out where to get the canned laughter from. Having to deliver the same unfunny line 20 or so times in front of a live studio audience can become demanding, not only for the hosts, but the couple of hundred guinea pigs lucky enough to be chosen as torture victims 
who were under the impression that what they were agreeing to would be a pleasurable experience as a studio audience. Now for a quick intermission, then I'll be back with my guest, Vanessa Till, for this evening, where she'll give her thoughts and memories from great moments in Australian TV. Back soon. As Secretary Manager of the Top Gear Australia Lawn Bowls Club, I would like to present the winner, Charlie Cox. Yes! With the congratulatory frozen turkey. You are what you eat, Charlie. Enjoy. I think it was the company I keep. <laughs> now, it's hard to imagine how next week's show could be any better. I've just won a chook. No, 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 no. Come on. Just stay. On. Welcome back, viewers. A huge... Super Dave, good evening and welcome to Vanessa Till. Hi. Hi. How's it going, Dave? Oh, very good. Thanks for joining us this evening. Now, before we proceed any further, viewers, this evening I've been talking about the great moments in Australian TV and it's just been pointed out to me that there seems to be a bit of a theme developing involving Top Gear Australia. Now, I must say at this point, viewers, that this situation is totally unintentional. We still have some footage to show and discuss tonight, and if it just happens to be that that footage is all from Top Gear Australia, then I can only come to the conclusion that not much else in the history of Australian TV comes within the length of the Nullarbor Plain when talking about quality TV. Now for our next classic piece of Aussie TV. Then I'd like to get your opinion on this piece of footage coming up, Vanessa Tell. Will you hang around and give us your thoughts? I'd love to hang around. Thank you very much. Back shortly. Welcome to Top Gear Australia, the show that promises you the world and then only gives you Albury and a bit of Wodonga. Now, first up, Steve gets behind the wheel of the new Mercedes, the CLK Black, and he asks the question, once you've driven black, do you ever look back? <laughs> Aubrey Wodonga, like... <laughs> when you're black, <laughs> regain your composure, we're on TV to listen. <laughs> oh, welcome back. Just classic stuff in Australian TV. Vanessa, share with us your thoughts on... That. Quality, Charlie quality Co television. Yeah. Charlie Cox water. <laughs> oh, okay, well, in general... <laughs> Talking about black and never going back. Yeah, original. They're actually, uh, the, I heard tonight they've commissioned a second series of Top Gear Australia. So the guys in the UK have obviously picked up on that. Stuff. So the, the guys at Top Gear UK have, have obviously, you know, they've seen the first, what, is it four episodes? You know, when you're hanging around somewhere and you're at someone's place and think, oh, we've been here for six hours and you've only been there 30 minutes. It's that damn boring. That's Top Gear Australia. Back like shortly. hanging around at Dave's place. When did you come to my place? Last week. Oh, it wasn't a dream. Well, that's it for tonight's program. A big Super Dave thanks once again to Vanessa Till as I regain my composure. Holy dooly. <sighs> Next week, I once again take a trip with you all down memory lane, this time looking back at my TV time here at MRMA. Until then, be kind to your worst enemies. Just make them watch the ads for Top Gear Australia. And if pain persists, make them watch the whole show. Bye for now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great stuff indeed. <laughs>